Hi, and welcome to Woodwing. Woodwing provides the technology for leading brands and publishers to tell their stories. Woodwing Assets is Woodwing's digital asset management system. Now, what's a digital asset management system? It's essentially a piece of technology that's going to allow you to organize image files, but also Adobe Photoshop, video and audio files, regardless of their source, and then any documents that you work with, including PDFs, Microsoft Word documents, and presentations. We're going to be working in this interface 99% of the time. For me, it's one of the most beautiful things about the dam. Everything's really right in front of you. The view I have showing all of my assets right now is what's traditionally called a masonry view. But there's also a thumbnail view, and then there's a list view, and there's a strip film view. You also have the option inside of the Woodwing Dam to bring up a folder structure. And you'll see I click the small folder icon here, and this can be useful for a couple of reasons. One, if we already have a workflow set up built around folders, we can continue to use that workflow. And the second thing is if we have legacy users who really are more comfortable working in the folder structure, they can continue to do so and still at the same time get the benefits that come with a modern dam. Another way we can get at assets is by using search. And right here at the top of the interface, there's a search bar. I'm going to use the word nature. And you'll see that it's looked across everything it knows about all the assets in the system. And it's pulled up a subset of the assets that have to do with the word nature. Now, I can pull from the left-hand side by clicking this icon here, a filter panel. And this filter panel is going to essentially allow me to build a complex query by filling in fields. I can say, you know, I'm only interested in photos that are in portrait orientation. One of the primary things that a digital asset management system does is allow you to organize assets. Now, the way we organize assets inside of the Woodwing system is using metadata. And then we use our search and our filter panel to narrow down the assets that we're looking for at any given time. But occasionally, we want to organize assets in different ways. So Woodwing has created this concept of collections. Now I can create a collection to start organizing assets. So I'm going to click this plus button, and it's going to create a collection. It gives me a default name of collection, and I'm going to call it Project X. Now I can actually start dragging assets into the box from the main interface. So I'm going to grab this uh, tiger because I know I want to use that tiger in this project. Then I'm going to need these guys. And you'll see that as I drag them over, they become a part of this collection. Then if I go ahead and double click on that collection, it shows me just the assets that are part of that collection. Now, often the work that I'm doing inside of the dam will require me not just to find and organize assets in the dam, but to actually look at them. And if I hit the space bar, what it's going to do is it's going to provide me with a preview of the entire image. So pulling out that thumbnail and really let me see the detail of this along with the metadata that's available. So I can also look at the, uh, the actual size. So it'll zoom in and then it'll allow me to move around. And then I can zoom in using either the scroll wheel or the mouse or, uh, or this slider bar. Now, how about getting things out of Woodwing assets? We've done our organizing and we've done some searching and filtering to find the assets that we want to work with, but now we actually want to do something with them. So right here in this menu bar inside of the system, I'm going to drop down the download and you'll see that I have a number of options. The first is download preview. It's a preview of the image. I can download the original of the image. Then I have a number of presets that I created. I created one for Facebook images, one for Instagram, and one for quick PNG exports. So whenever I select one of these, what's going to happen is the system is going to do all of the conversion work and then just provide me with a finder window where I can then go ahead and save that image. Another way to work with assets is to check them out and then check them back in again. So workflow. So I can actually take an asset and choose to check it out. And when I click this checkout button right here, a couple of things are going to happen very rapidly. And you'll notice that I've now switched applications. I'm now inside of Adobe Photoshop. And now that I have it checked out, I can actually work on this asset. So I'm going to do something very simple. I'm just going to crop this down. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just close it. 
and I'm going to switch back over to Woodwing and I can right click on this and choose check in and you'll see that the thumbnail is updated to the crop that I created. So we pulled the asset out of the system, but in this instance, Woodwink didn't lose track of it. It kept track of it through the editing process, and then it brought those changes back into the system. And now, rather than have a duplicate of this, what it's done is it's actually created a version. And you'll see here the current version that we're working with. This is the crop that I made, but it's also retained the original version of the asset. Another essential function of digital asset management is collaboration or sharing. And we can do this in a number of different ways. One, we can just grab a single individual asset and we can go ahead and create a share on it. And here's the final photo. Uh, expiration dates, whether I want a watermark included, and uh, the functionality that I want to turn on or off for this particular share. In this case, I'm just going to allow them to preview this file and not do anything else. So it creates a link for me that I can then send to the person that I want to have access to the share. And when they click on this link, they're going to be brought to a small area of Woodwing assets where all they're able to do is see the asset or assets that I shared with them. And then all they're going to see is the functionality that I provided for them, which in this case was to preview. So that really covers the core functionality of Woodwing assets. But there's so much more because one of the most powerful things about the Woodwing Dam is that it can really integrate with anything. And we've been able to create a ton of really cool integrations using the API and Woodwing Connect to connect Woodwing assets with project management software, PIMs, content management systems, and much more. There's also the benefit of having native connections with other Woodwing solutions. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this short demo about some of the features of Woodwing assets. If you'd like to find out more about Woodwing's digital asset management solution, please visit woodwing.com.